Hey guys, Evan here, or get up 58 and I'm back with another video. Um, yeah, so, ooh, 60 subs. Uh, I, I can't even keep up with all of the amount of subscribers I'm getting. I can't even, I, I, I can't, I can't, I'm out of words, I'm out of breath, I can't do anything. Um, so lately I've been like, I've been like doing a celebration every 10 subscribers. I don't think I can do that anymore. I think that's gonna be really hard to do. So, I think... Like every 20 subscribers maybe, so I'll probably do another subscriber celebration when I get 80 subscribers. Sounds about right. And I'll do another one on 100, so that's be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, I have some new ideas, some new thoughts I plan on doing um, on the card game. So, you guys know about my first set of cards, which was um, Soul of Raya. Um, I did a booster pack opening for all that, that was pretty cool, but... Really, I've I done gameplay on that set, and it doesn't. It's not that good. The set it was kind of more like a beta set, like a beta set. Like the set doesn't even work good. So if you want, I could still sell it, but it wouldn't have much good gameplay. So what I'm thinking about doing is like the second set. I played with it with my friends, and it was awesome. It was great. It went well. Everything was like the functions were perfect, and I I was like getting used to making those cards, and it worked out well. So um. So I'm thinking about doing is um, uh, excuse me, um, probably not do the first set. Well, I will do the first set, but just work on the second set, release that as the first set, then um, and then the then redo the second set and release the redo the first set and then release that as a second set. Do you get that? But I probably won't do that like simultaneously. Sorry, I can't even say the word right. Uh, I plan on making a mini set in between, like a set that's not that big. I guess it's like a hundred cards. It's like the size of like my set. That's the set I plan on doing. But um, I remember my old card game. I did like a tiny little set, and it was like it was a puppet, or, like a puppet kind of thing going on here. And I thought that was a really cool idea, so I kind of want to do that as a set. It was really, it had, it was really cool, and I had good mechanics in it. So I'll probably do that. Um, but um, so what you guys are looking at here is. You're probably like, oh, like, where are the stats on this? It's like, just a bunch of pictures. That's kind of weird. And there's stuff on the back of it. What the heck? That's weird. But, um, you guys may know the characters. Samuel. Lost Soul. Tex, the Living Weapon. And Bloodthirsty Sliver. And Silver, sorry. Um, so, I was playing this game on my phone called Star Wars Card Trader. And, like, it's like a game, like a CCG, where it's not, like, much purpose in the cards. Like, you don't play with them or anything, you just collect them. And, um, and they had this thing called insert cards. They're, like, rare cards, and they're, like, really cool, really hard to get. And I thought it was a great idea to put in the card game. Like, that'd be cool. Uh, like, I I've heard inserts run in other card games, too, and, like, they're kind of cool. They're kind of like the premium cards from a Magic. Have you ever seen those? Like, premium cards, or, like, the full art cards, or, like, kind of hard to get. They're, like, promo cards, kind of. That's kind of what these are going at, like promotional cards that you can only get like certain ways. But what I think about doing is like in the booster packs, like when I shuffle the booster packs and I shuffle the commons, you can have a chance of those like what six commons? No, oh. I think six, six or five commons. Yeah, six, no, seven cards. I think minus seven commons. I can't remember. But out of those seven cards, you have a chance of getting one of these um, insert cards. So when you look at it, a normal insert card, I don't know how many I'm gonna make, but it has the name of the character, so silver. So you see the card's bloodthirsty silver. It's the evolved evolve form of silver. So it has the art on it, then the color representing its faction, which is the blood cult. And then um and then on the back it will have Mana Ridge. Um the that's the logo I plan on doing. That's I'm probably gonna do it digitally too. And the rise of a cow, which is a set, and then insert zero zero one, which means the first insert. So, yeah, they have no play value or anything, but they're really cool to get, and that's just, like, the art on this is, like, better than the regular art, like, it's, like, worked harder on, it's bigger and easier to see. So it's focusing on the art mainly, so it looks really cool. I think these turned out awesome, like, so I'll, I'll just give you a second look at them, so. The first one, we have Silver. Those are the name right there. And it has the little logo on the back. Then we have Tex, which is a living weapon. This is a revolve form. 
Man Ridge, Rise of the Cow, into 002. Pretty cool. And Samuel is our bosses. It looks, just looks epic. Maybe I'll focus on it so you can see it better, maybe. Yeah, looks a little nicer. And Man Ridge, Rise of the Cow, that's the third one. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about that. That'll be pretty cool. And I plan on doing another series too. Um, I'm not gonna name off what the series of, what is what the series is, but I want to tell you one thing is I'm probably gonna be reviewing old cards from my card my old card games. So I cleaned out my desk. If you can see, it's like really neat and everything. You can see all my stuff over there. It's all nice and tidy. Then if you look over here, there's like so there's this whole drawer just full of cards that aren't in this card game. More cards in there, and more cards in there, and more cards in there. So, art cards everywhere. Every single drawer is just filled to the top with cards that are not from Mana Ridge. So, well, that's a lot, huh? Um, I can't want to do. I want. I want to review over those cards and tell you how they inspired this card game. A lot of those cards, a lot, a lot, a lot of those cards are inspired this game um yeah it's so like even silver so before i made mana ridge um just a little piece of info but before i made mana ridge there was another one um called sword break that was my old channel um between that i tried to remake sword break kind of differently um and so there was one of those characters named silver so silver was just a regular assassin dude he was a human and everything and so whenever I first created Silver, like, so like I, I don't see what the card is, but like, here's the original Silver. So, um, I drew the concept art for him, and then when I was planning on making a comic, I drew like a, like the manga or slash anime style art, and like, I, like I made it like a robot, like, it, it just looked awesome to me. And so when I made the card, I drew the art, and like, I didn't draw the thesis yet. I was like, I'll just make it a robot, a machine. So I made it that. And then when I came with the Evolve cards, I thought it'd be awesome to show like his mask ripped off so you could see his machine parts and everything. See that? So I thought that looked epic. So, so Silver was um, intentionally a character for Sword Break. And he was a human, but then he became that guy. This is the awesome robot guy you're seeing now. So that's just a little piece of my what i plan on having it about um so i, I hope you guys will enjoy that but yeah that's the ser that's um that's all for today i don't have i don't have anything else to really say except except wow 60 subscriber that's like oh my god that's a lot um that's kind of it it feels kind of weird to talk to a camera really just like just talking to it like in your room all by yourself quiet and everything but yeah that's kind of it. <laughs> so, we'll just look at little chibi Johnny. I've had this guy for a while. I don't know what I did with him. I mean, here's a meal. Meal, my favorite character from Meal. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you didn't, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe. What the heck? Subscribe, sorry. And comment down below what you thought about this. Also, check out my last video, which is my Q&A announcement. So, if you have any questions for my Q&A, post that in the last video. Um, I'll probably be doing that probably at the end of this month when I finish testing, so that's probably when I'll have time. But yeah, so otherwise I'll catch you guys all later. So yeah, peace.